Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this uh, specialised week and today we're having a this Dario Argento week um, and we're starting tonight with one of his really early films it's probably his second or third film I've thought and it's called um, Four Flies on Grey Velvet now this is one of his really early works and it's from this um, Symphony of Terror box set, which I have, uh, which contains three of his classic movies. Um, this one is um, no exception to his other films. It's it's absolutely brilliant, um, and it's really well filmed. <clears throat> but being one of his earlier works, because obviously when Argento started out, he started out as a screenwriter, and he wrote sort of like... Um, films more than actually starring in them, and I think that was. But then he went and made some some movies, and this is about his third one in. And this is a, a great little story. It's a great giallo film, um, and it's and it's all about this guy who's a musician. He's like a drummer in in this sort of like avant garde sort of jazz band, and he's um, he's. He's uh, been experiencing being followed by some guy uh, who's dressed like a, a one of our sort of giallo sort of killers with a, a sort of um, black raincoat, black gloves, black trilby, you know, all, all the sort of things of like a giallo sort of killer. And he's being followed by this guy around, and then uh, it comes to a point after one night after rehearsals that he's sort of like had enough, and he sees the guy sort of hiding behind the wall. He, when we see like the shadow of him, that it, again, this film is absolutely amazingly shot as for such an early film. This must be about nineteen seventy-one or something like that. For such an early film, it's so wonderfully shot, um, and and it and it's just oodles atmosphere uh, as all argento films does and it's got a lot of um very dulled down sort of colors but then all the other colors are really brightened up and vibrant to make things sort of stand out which is like very common in all argento sort of films um anyway he sees our uh, how this guy and he's te and he, he tends to follow him and we get taken through the streets, through some sort of back alleys and all this kind of um, areas of, of the town and into this old sort of theatre. And so they, they arrive in this theatre and he finally catches up with this guy. And then he sort of questions him, says, why are you following me? You've been following me for days. And this guy said, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not, I don't know, I'm not being following you or nothing. And anyway, he uh, he he denies it all, and and he says, no, don't you know, don't lie, tell me why are you following me. Anyway, he is in denial, but then the uh, the guy, the uh, in in the in the black outfit, draws a, a knife and sort of threatens our sort of hero, if you like, and our hero sort of retaliates, and as he's sort of retaliating on the edge of the stage, a blinding sort of light sort of beams down upon them which sort of like makes the tussle turn hands and he acts and our our, our musician um accidentally stabs the other guy in the stomach and he falls into the orchestra pit and the, up by the lights that have come on is this strange um person that's wearing a, a mask a mask of like a cherub's sort of face and he's taking photographs of all what's going on and he's captured on photographs of the moment when our, our musician hero has stabbed this other guy and so and then the lights go out and he disappears and our sort of musician guy sort of goes home and is very subdued and very withdrawn. And he won't talk to his girlfriend. He's awake all night and she's asking him what's wrong and he's saying nothing sort of thing. And then we sort of get um, not a blackmail sort of movie, but he's, he's then getting sort of um, 
strange phone calls and photographs of this murder being left in his home and stuff like that. So it's someone that he knows that close to him that is leaving him all these sort of messages as such. Um, of saying that, you know, I know who you are. And it, 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 he sort of like goes down this sort of winding road of like um, anxiety and stress and worry. He cannot sleep. He can't do anything. He becomes very um, paranoid. And he starts, when he thinks he sees someone, it could be it. He, he runs over and attacks him. Like there's one moment when the uh, the postman's come to the house to deliver a parcel and because it's raining he's got a hood up and he thinks he's the guy that's who's who's like who's setting him up so he runs and he almost kills the postman he's sort of strangling him and hitting him with some wood and all these sort of bizarre sort of things are going on and it also a bit like tenebrae it sort of puts you in a position of where it could be tries to leave you guessing of different people who it could be like there's an older lady that lives with him and his girlfriend and so you it's you see her listening in and creeping behind doors so you all sort of think she's she's in on it but she's not because she gets bumped off quite early in the film in a park because she's got all these photos and and all this stuff that the guy's been receiving and she's trying to blackmail the killer and so she calls him out to go and meet her in the park to give her money. Anyway, he doesn't show up and it, at night time comes when the park's closed and she's still in there. Our killer's in there and she comes to her end. So it's like, it's it's kind of, it's like that's a real sort of, um, a really cool th crime thriller um, horror movie, which is what Giallo films are pretty much. And this is no exception of being an absolute classic. And I have to say, it's up there with my favourite um, Argento films. It's definitely one of my favourite of his because the plot is quite easy to follow where a lot of his stories get quite complicated along the way and so much detail comes into it that it's quite easy to get lost within his visions because Argento is a, a real... A visionary sort of artist and he he gets i think sometimes lost up in his own work um and i i think sometimes you can also get lost but this that's the plot of this story so he's accidentally killed somebody um he doesn't want to go to the police or anything like that it's been in the papers they found an identified body he started to receive all these things that are sort of like saying oh, I know who you are and he's trying to investigate who it is that's sort of setting him up um, and where that leads to and where it leads to you need to watch it and find out because I'm not going to tell you what the plot or how that sort of pans out I want you to discover it yourself um, so what do I think of Four Flies on Grey Velvet like I said to you I, I think it's one of Argento's best bits of work to be honest and it's only like his third movie in um and it was absolutely fantastic i loved it from start to finish um he sort of made three sort of um movies uh i think they call it the animal trilogy in his first year of directing with his the, the bird with the crystal plumage um the cat and uh cat and nine tails and obviously this one was his first sort of three movies. And they all came out pretty soon after one another. Obviously because he had all this. <coughs> um, visions in his head. He needed to get them out. And they're all masterpieces. And this is no exception. It's absolutely fantastic. The pluses of this edition is. that The most plus of this edition. Is the most complete edition of the film. Because it's got some added footage in it. Now. The added footage, the added the, the footage that they've added into the film looks bloody terrible, and it's like the film looks quite nice. Then all of a sudden, um, they add in the missing clip, and it's like overexposed, looks completely different, and you can't even work out what it is a lot of the time. 
So it was a waste of time with them putting that in, to be honest. But it does have a disclaimer at the beginning of the movie saying that there's nothing they could do. They found these clips that were missing. And they're only like about sort of five seconds each. And, there's, and they just added them into the bits that were missing. But you do have the option to watch the film on this disc with the added scenes and without the added scenes. So I recommend watching it without, to be honest, because they don't actually add anything to the film. Apart from the length of the film, probably adds a couple more minutes to the length of the film. Um, it's really well acted, is another plus. It's, it, it's a great cast, um, not too much poor acting. And there's no sort of like, um, like, like in um, some of these other films, some of the, some of the women tend to overact in, in the film, especially on their sort of death scenes. Um, but in this one, we're, we're not treated to as much as that. Um, it's a great story, it's very gripping. And I think it's one of his strongest Giallo films. It's really, really cool. The negatives are that, yes, it is quite a slow film. And there's not as much gore as later films. But that, it doesn't really need gore as, as much. Because it's the story that really sells this film. And it's quite horrifying. Where you think this guy, who's just a musician, is now being sort of like, accidentally kill someone because he's been put in that position to defend himself and now he's almost being sort of like blackmailed over it and it's, it's a horrible story and all, all people around him being bumped off and stuff like this a lot going on so i'm going to score this film an, an excellent watch and give it an eight out of ten I think that's a really fair score for such a core cool film. You've got to remember, it's one of his really early films. And to to already produce in the film, to score 8 out of 10 it is fantastic. Um, absolutely. But now, I will cover more of his films. This is my Argento week, but I will be doing more of his films throughout my reviews. But this week is just three movies that I really want to look at at his. Um... And this is a great one to start with. Absolutely fantastic. Four Flies on the Grey Velvet. 8 out of 10. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. It's a great, great movie. It's very tense. It's very um, um, dramatic. It's edge of the seat sort of stuff. Although it's slow, it is edge of the seat. And it's very, very... You really feel for the guy. And you're thinking, my God, he doesn't want to tell anyone. He, he ends up telling his girlfriend. And she's actually quite cool and quite understanding and supportive of him. But then you sort of fear for her. You start fearing this. What's going to happen to her now she knows? Um, and so it's like that. And, and he's surrounded by some quite nice people. And you don't want anything bad to happen to him. So you start worrying about them. And, and that's where the film sort of takes you. And that's where it's genius, because it makes you feel that way. Great film. And that is the first film in the Dario Argento week. So the next one we're going to be looking at is also in this box set. And it's uh, we will be looking at, if I can get the art card out, Opera. So that's our next one we're going to be looking at. Um, this week. Until then, check out some other horror channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Manby Film, Iris Designs, Pizzlewell, I'm the Ice Lord, um, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Sarah of Horror, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House, and a massive shout out to my lad Lemon Lord. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon. <laughs>